parting with the great name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Myself at the Shamamid and welcome to my YouTube channel Computernetic Zone for another exciting lecture. In today's lecture, I will be discussing about data communication and components of data communication or components of computer networks. So let's start and discuss our topic in detail. So what actually is a data communication? Data communication is basically the exchange of data between different devices. And how we can exchange data? Through any transmission medium. Like we have is wire transmission mediums. Like we have wireless transmission medium. Or a satellite system. So these are all the transmission mediums. So basically in simple words, the exchange of data between different computers, between different devices, through any transmission medium is called data communication. So we have few examples like personal computers that is connected to the internet with a modem or electronic mail that is used to exchange messages via the internet or if you if you send message messaging on the through different smartphone is also an example of data communication phone call is also an, an example of data communication if you are using any app uh, suppose that uh, if you are having any communication through facebook through whatsapp especially or imo or any other device any other um, social media app if you are communicating with any other person this is also an example of data communication if you have any other example in your mind you can put that in, in the comment section as well so what are the components of communication system there are five major components of data communication system like we have is sender receiver message message protocol and transmission medium first one we have is a sender a device that is used in a communication system or device that is used in a network to send data to any other device is called sending device or a sender it is also known as transmitter or it is also known as source. A sender may be a computer, may, may, may be a telephone handset, it may be a mobile phone, or it may be a video camera. So receiver, a device that is used in a communication system to receive messages from another device is called receiver or a sync. So suppose that there are two devices, devices A and device B device A sends data and device B receives data so the device that is sending data is called sender or a transmitter or a source whereas a device B that receives data from a device A is called receiver which is also known as sync so receiver may be a computer telephone handset mobile phone printer and fax machine next one we have is message message is basically a piece of information that is to be transferred from one location to another location it could be in any form it may be in the form of text file it may be in the form of audio file or it may be in the form of video file next one we have is transmission medium Transmission medium basically acts like a bridge between sender and receiver. So it's basically a physical path to which data travels from a sender to a receiver. For example, again we are taking that example device A and device B and there's a wire between device A and device B. So, so that wire, that cable is an example of transmission medium so we have few examples of transmission medium like twisted pair cable like coaxial cable like uh, fiber optics these are all example of wire transmission medium whereas the radio waves microwaves these are example of transmission wire wireless transmission medium and the last one we have is a protocol protocol is basically a set of rules that governs set of communication so if two different devices are connected but there is no protocol among them then there would be no communication between those two devices so this is why protocols 
is of significant importance so for example if we impose a rule that data between sender and receiver must be sent within two seconds okay so the message that travels from sender to receiver this whole process will take one or two seconds suppose two seconds so this is a rule of two seconds to be uh, in short this is called a protocol for example you can say that if data within one second uh, sender and receiver so the data to be sent like 100 kb per second so this 100 kb per second speed is also um, an example of protocol so these are the different rules and regulations that we employ on data communication on employ on the networks computer networks so these are there is a person who wants to call by using a mobile device so mobile is also one of the examples of uh, computers that is a palm top computers so suppose that this suppose that this is a palm top computer we have this uh, for instance so if person calls from this and it person uh, is calling from the person who is sitting there so he calls he's and he say he's calling there this person and while calling he is delivering some message like hello how are you so hello how are you would be sent there and there would be a wireless transmission medium there and then protocols between uh, is uh, are defined there suppose that uh, the connection must be established between two person the data will be sent only so data will be sent only if there, there will be a connection established between two person so we set the rule there so this is a simple and straightforward um, example of data communication hope uh, I have cleared your concepts so here in case we have another example of communication system suppose sending email we are mostly familiar with this concept um, we, we used to send different messages uh, through emails um, different emails um, that we send uh, on a daily basis so sender sender is a person or a user who sends an email for example Michael is Michael wants to send an email to Jordan so Michael is a sender because he sends email receiver Jordan on the other side will receive an email so he is a receiver message in messages he, he, he wrote a different uh, he wrote um, any text uh, with an email so that would be a message and protocol is a simple mail transfer protocol it helps to sending email um, that we have this, this is a protocol a simple net, simple mail transfer protocol SMTP that ensures the communication between sender and receiver so this is uh, this is a standard uh, protocol that is used uh, in computer networks and the transmission medium that we will have is a wireless transmission medium so that's all for today if you like this video share it if you have any question you can ask in the comment section i will definitely respond there and if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can subscribe it uh, so that you can get more videos more informative videos in future and uh, thank you and have a good day